In today's video, I will show you how to use the JSON placeholder API. The main purpose of this API is for testing and prototyping. This is what the final result looks like using Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so that you can easily follow along. Once we have everything set up, I can now hit send and see the fake data that gets sent back to us, which we can use for testing purposes. To get started, we can look at the documentation. Once you're on this page, we can click on guide. This specific page will show us all of the different API calls that we can make. The first API call is getting a resource and this is the URL that we need to copy to be able to make this exact API call. Once you have it copied, we can open up Postman, create a new request, and just paste the URL that we just copied. Make sure this says get, and then hit send. We can now see test data related to a post. Going back to the documentation, we can look at the next API call, which lists all resources. Compared to the previous API call, it only got back data about a specific post, but if we do the API call that lists all resources, we can see all the different posts that the API offers. Switching back to Postman, the only change we need to make is just to change the URL like this. So just erase the one and the backslash and then hit send. We can see now we get back a list of posts, all of different data for each of the posts. Going back to the documentation, the next thing we will do is to create a resource. However, if we look down here at the note, we can see that the resource would not really be updated on the server, but it will be faked as though it was. So if you're in a scenario where you need to fake creating a resource, then this API is perfect for you. To actually create a resource, we just need to copy the URL here and then create a new request. Make sure it says post paste in the URL. Then we just need to pass in a body as well for this post request. So we can just click on body, click on raw, and change text to JSON. Going back to documentation, we can just copy the body that they have here. And then we can just type in a open and close bracket and just paste in the values that we just copied. Now we just need to format the text that we just pasted in by adding quotes around all of the keys. And we do the same thing for the values as well and we remove the comma at the very end. We can also hit the button here to make the formatting look nicer. Once you're done with all these steps, we can hit send. If we look at the status code that we received back, we get back a 201 created. And here we can see the contents of our new post. Going back to documentation, I will show you one last example, and that's going to be deleting a resource. Just like creating a resource, this will not actually delete the resource, but we will fake it as though it was. So we just need to copy the URL here, go back to Postman, create a new request, paste in the URL, and then switch this to delete. Then we can hit send. If we look at the response, we can see we get a 200 okay. And the response of this specific API call is just an empty body. And that is the end of this JSON placeholder API tutorial. Hopefully you have a better idea of how to use the JSON placeholder API. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.